So first to Gundawindi, where there's growing optimism that the town will be spared from serious flooding. After a nervous night, the McIntyre River peaked at 10.64 metres today. Residents are putting their faith in the town's levees, and so far they're holding. ABC reporter Philippa MacDonald sent this report from Gundawindi on the Queensland-New South Wales border. The swollen McIntyre River reached a record high in Gundawindi today, but thankfully the levee bank held back these surging waters. We we're just very happy that the night's over and we're here for another day. For locals who faced the biggest flood threat in the town's history, the old bridge proved a popular viewing point. I'm not worried at all. We live up the river and uh, it's going down or stationary. We are now commencing a voluntary stage one evacuation. But it was a different story last night. The town was preparing for a major disaster. The hospital's been evacuated to Inglewood, I believe, um, and we're in the process of evacuating the stretcher patients from the nursing home. The view from the air here shows the volume of water around Gundawindi. While the town of Gundawindi may have narrowly escaped these floods, the same can't be said about the roads and smaller communities and properties just on the outskirts of town. Water has already engulfed productive land and for the Duddy family it's a race against time to secure levee banks around valuable cotton crops. We've got about 30 people in total on our levee banks shoveling um, dirt, trying to make a reel and um, holding flood water back on two weak spots in our levee banks. Here though, they still count themselves lucky. Philippa MacDonald, ABC News, Gundawindi. And Philippa MacDonald has just sent this update from nearby Bogabilla, a small community surrounded by floodwaters. I'm standing 10 kilometres south of Bogabilla in New South Wales. Bogabilla is one of the towns here cut off by the rising floodwaters. They've steadily increased in Bogabilla today and it's peaked at about 12.6 metres. That means a third of the town of Bogabilla is underwater. The water is in the streets and lapping at floorboards and it's also got into cars. Also the sewerage system there has been under such pressure that it's broken down and engineers have had to be called in late today. Also near here is the little town of Tumala, where practically the whole population has been evacuated to Moree. The water is so high there, it is lapping at the railings of the bridge in Tumala, and it's also reached, according to state emergency services, the top of the grandstand at the local sporting oval.